Good morning, happy Wednesday. Today has already become one of those days. So everything I had on today has now been canceled. And I'm kind of okay with it because I kind of have a lot I'd like to do. It also meant I got to take my morning a bit steadier, which was really lovely. And I'm just gonna have a nice coffee, get the rest of my email smashed out, and then I'm gonna go and do the nicest, slowest workout. I haven't worked out in like three days. And I'm more of like a habit work her out up if that makes sense, if that's a thing. I'm not like a hit your PBs and like tactical, like I have to be in the habit. And when I'm out of the habit, I find it really hard. So I'm gonna like, just take it really easy today. Um, but yeah, I have a, have a day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be creative today. Today I'm going to film for my main YouTube channel, which is incredibly exciting and something that does not happen enough in my current life. Oh, I thought that was an ice rink over there. It's people on bikes. I was really confused for a second. I was like, I didn't know there was an ice rink. But I get so many questions about the camera that I use for my main channel. So this is it. It's the Canon EOS R. I don't use this lens. I was just using this to shoot something yesterday. But it's a mirrorless camera and it's so much lighter. I used to use the 5D and this one has a flip out screen. There is much newer versions of this camera now. I've had it for years, but I really like it. And I'm very excited to sit down. I almost want to film like a Q and A because like, it's like a let's catch up vibe. But I feel like if you're watching the vlogs, you're kind of caught up. But at the same time, there's probably, you probably have so many questions that I just don't think to talk about. Um, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Would you like me to do a Q and A? I mean, this is going up tomorrow, so I could film it this Sunday. Day. And oh, I haven't told you my family are coming to London on Saturday to see my place. Maybe I have told you. I don't know. They're coming to London on Saturday to see my place. And I'm really excited. And we're going to go and see my house and do all of that. And yeah, right. I'm going to put some charge. That's the whole reason I came over here. So I was listening to this really interesting podcast in the car yesterday on the way back to London. And there was this one bit that really made me laugh because it was so true. And they were saying how when women speak to each other in group scenarios, we like face on, probably pretty close to each other. Whereas when men stand and talk, they stand at like 120 degrees. So they're kind of stood like this. This is one man, this is another man. And how true is that? Every, like if I envision like an event or a group where there's a group of guys, they're all stood like that. And apparently it stems from, you know, ancestry and about how if you're like face on like this, it's aggressive and it means you're about to fight essentially. And yeah, I just found that so interesting because it's so unbelievably true. And I can, I can genuinely picture scenarios in my life where, you know, I've been at parties or things like that and all the guys stand like that. And I never knew why. And, and now I know it's like a, it's ingrained in them. It's really crazy. It's such a beautiful day today. The sky is like a frosty blue and I slept like a dream. So <laughs> today I can feel it today. Today's gonna be a good day. It's also a Wednesday, which is really good because I still have like three days solid of work to smash out and that's great. Oh my gosh, I look so ill. I'm not ill anymore. <laughs> I was feeling a bit under the weather. I think it's just because I slept for so long, but I am more than happy with the amount of work I've got done this morning. So I'm going to head to the gym now. And then we need to go into Central because I need to find this specific granola for a gift. Can't find it anywhere. And I don't want to place like a food order. I, I, I could get it on a cardo, but I don't want to risk placing the order purely for that. And then the rest of the order turning up and that not turning up because that's out of stock. Because every Waitrose I've been into, it's just not been on the shelf. I think they stock it at Asda. And so before I go into Central, perhaps I'll get the train to Leighton and see if they've got it in Asda there. I don't know. But I need to find this granola and I need to find it today, if not tomorrow. I've also just realized it's train strike day one one of them. So I don't know. I assume the tubes are running. I think I saw signs saying the Elizabeth line was limited, but I'm pretty sure. I hope the tubes are running. If not, I'm going to have to drive, which is probably quicker anyway, but I'm not going to drive into central London. Not today. I'm dressed and ready for the day. This is the only black jumper I have here. And I feel like it's too distinctive to wear multiple days in a row because you can quite obviously recognize it. It's not just like a plain black one that, do you know what I mean? That you can wear like every day. So I am going to head into town. We need to find this freaking granola. I had a lovely little workout, nothing crazy. It felt very, very like slow and flow and like, I don't know. It wasn't intensive, but I'm glad I moved. I feel like I've like moved, but I've not pumped. 
Do you know what I mean? It was it was really lovely. But now I'm gonna go and we need to find this because if I this is this is a key element to a gift and if I don't get it, I I know what I'll replace it with, but it's not as special. So you know those little presents that mean a lot to people. This is one of those, so I need to get that. And we're gonna do it today. Okay. This is my cute little outfit. I've got my H&M coat on, this jumper which is old Zara, my Prada edition which is just the easiest bag to like hide under your coat. Topshop Jamie jeans that are coated and then I'm gonna put my docks on but for now I've just got some black socks and this scarf is mulberry. So I'm all wrapped up but I wanted to wear something different to the uh, the Canada Goose because I wear that every single day. It's also cold but not freeze, well it is freezing at zero degrees which is technically freezing but compared to like the minus three we've had these last few days that's not awful but I definitely think I need to get some gloves. I'm back. I did not manage to find the granola. I went to so many different places, but on the upside, I got everything else and I unintentionally managed to get so much of my Christmas shopping done. So it was productive and I've, I've placed the Ocado order for tomorrow evening. So we're gonna cross our fingers that it turns up, but I'm starving. It's like half past two and I haven't had lunch yet. So I'm gonna make some eggs and I have some sourdough in the freezer. So can, sorry if you can hear my washing machine, it's about to finish. Uh, so I'm gonna make myself some eggs on toast and I'm very excited about it. I love a fried egg. It's my it's my thing at the moment. It was scrambled egg. Now I want a fried egg. I've officially finished my work for the day. I've just been sat for the last few hours and smashed it all out. But I thought I'd show you some of the bits that I got that aren't gifts. So I firstly got <laughs> this wrapping paper. If you don't shop at TK Maxx, you really should go and look at it. This big wrapping paper roll, it says it wraps 40 presents, was $12.99. Which it's expensive for wrapping paper, but this feels like paper chase quality wrapping paper and that's stupidly expensive. <laughs> like, I mean, I've, I've purchased a couple of rolls in the past to pack like special people's gifts, but my goodness, it's just, yeah. So this is, this is okay. I also picked up, so I almost bought this the other day, but it didn't have a lid and I went in today and there was one with a lid and I just occasionally like say if a pot breaks for like I don't know one of my spices or something this I don't own a pot this size so yeah it, this matches my other kilner jars one of which it's right here if you don't collect kilner jars I would highly recommend it's a very fun hobby and it's very useful I also got some ribbon this is from Tiger to wrap M's presents with and then I got a couple of bits from Lush Oh, I'd never spelt this before. This is Sticky Dates Shower Gel. It smells like salted caramelly. Oh no, it's coming out. I just bought this for myself, not for anyone else. But I mean, maybe it'll end up being a gift for someone, but not now, it's all over my hand. <laughs> and then I also bought Sophie something from Lush because I feel like I buy her something from Lush most years. And I think she's gonna like, do you know what? I've actually nailed Sophie's Christmas this year. I, she, they're coming to London on Saturday, like I told you earlier. And I'm going to take her to Brandy Melville and get her a couple of bits because that's, you know, not in the business of buying people things that they don't, like, they don't want. But um, yeah, I know she'll really like this. And I bought her something else I ordered today that I know she's going to really like. And yeah, I just think it's really cool when you know people well enough to be able to buy them things that they're genuinely going to use and love every day. I think it's so cool. But I am going to pop over to Westfield. I need to buy some new tights. And I could order them, but I wear Calzedonia tights and their shipping's like five days. And with postal strikes and Christmas, I just think they won't come in time for Christmas. So I'm gonna run over to Westfield, get some new tights. Couldn't do it earlier. I was too tired and I just needed to come back and have some lunch and you know, this bag was heavy. What? I don't even know what it was that was, was it on oh, the Yeah, it was really heavy. And I also bought this. I asked my nephew yesterday what he wanted Father Christmas to bring him and he was like, vehicles. I was like, is there any particular vehicle? He's just like, as many vehicles as possible. Now the child owns, there's an older vehicles, but I managed to find one that he does not own. So yes, I'm very happy about that. And I think I'll probably address that one from Cody and then I'm gonna get, oh, I have something else on the way. I, I got him a London underground tube. So I'm very excited about that. But yeah, I'm gonna run over to Westfield and go and get tight. I'm hoping, it's like half past five. Oh no, it's quarter past six. I'm hoping because I feel like Calzedonia is not gonna be busy. Westfield will be busy, but I don't think Calzedonia will. So my friends, I've spent the last hour or so just cleaning and I thought I would show you what I got from Calzedonia. I was right, it wasn't too bad in there. I mean, there was quite a few people in there, but not enough for the women to, you know, not be able to help me. So that's good. I always like to ask as well when I'm in there because obviously I, I find sizing with tights really difficult. I'm quite 
quite tall and yeah I'm like I never know which way to go so it's always just helpful to ask so I got this pair of shiny tights they're like gold glitter I don't know if you can see I also got the same thing but in like kind of silvery I got a hmm they're not for me they're for something else I got this pair of kind of shiny sparkly I don't know if you can see but there's like gold specs they're not as glittery as these ones, but they're still really cool. I also got these polka dot fishnet ones that I thought could be really cute with like a velvet Christmas dress. And then I got these. Now they didn't have my size, so I sized down, so hopefully they're long enough. But they've got bows at the back, and I just thought that was really fun. My Christmas wardrobe tends to be like plain black dresses, so I thought this would be a really fun way to kind of dress it up a little bit. I'll do a like a, an outfit video on TikTok and shorts, so you can see. But yeah, that is what I got. I I, like I said, have just spent the last hour or so cleaning, tidying. I mean, it still doesn't look it, does it? Because there's a massive tripod in the middle of uh, my, my flat, but that's kind of the reality. Um, it's set up because I'm getting up pretty early tomorrow. I have a, yeah, quite an early start because I'm heading to Bista Village and you know with Bista you have to get there as early as possible. Although there is train strikes tomorrow, so maybe not the best day to go to Bista Village, but the earliest train's at nine, so that's the best we can manage and yeah it still means i have to leave here at eight so we're well, just before eight and i obviously want to like work out get ready and i have some work bits i want to do before i leave but i really hope you've enjoyed today's vlog tomorrow's vlog is going to be pretty crazy um it's going to be a busy one i'm going with my friends so it's going to be a girly day and you'll probably see some faces you recognize and yeah i really hope you're excited if you like this I like go a long way that seems to be my new thing that line i don't know thumbs up would be great i'll see you bright and early in the morning and by the way just so you know i'm loving this i'm loving daily vlogging again i it's wild to me that i did this for two and a half years anyway we'll have that chat another time um i'm very tired i need to sleep and i'll see you in the morning good night